Yo, what's up YouTube fam? Hopefully you're all having an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal day. I hope you're staying safe during these crazy times and I hope that your hair does not look as bad as mine does because this is, I, I know I say this every time, but man, this is getting wild, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. I miss my barber. I miss, uh, yeah, I, I miss haircuts. I miss haircuts a lot. But anyways, that... Putting that aside, we just got leaks of what the new agent for Valorant is going to be. It's most likely going to be set to release in the next split season ignition, whatever you want to call it, or whatever you are calling it. Uh, that's supposed to be coming around in August. I think August 5th, August 2nd is around the week that we're supposed to be getting the brand new uh, set for uh, Valorant, which is awesome. Let's check out the abilities. Going to react, going to give my thoughts and... Uh, Curious to see how another agent affects the meta, and hopefully we don't have a, uh, uh, you know, you know, raise when she first came out, you know? All right, let's see what we got. What's the new agent? Got some fancy gloves. Ooh, it's like an arcade game. Okay. Okay. Looks like a son of some type. So this is the turret that we saw on Twitter, supposedly, that... Okay, that... It doesn't... Well, I don't know. Hold up. You gotta look back on that in a second. That's an insta-kill? Oh, that's disgusting. That is not okay. So we got the ultimate. Is that like a detection sonar type of thing? Or it looks like a force field? Yeah, it looks like there's a radius for it. So there is a limit. It doesn't go over the entire map. Okay. Interesting. So it's a slow. And your guns are disabled. Are your abilities disabled as well? That's kind of disgusting, actually. What the heck? Wait. What? Okay, so... I don't know if this does damage. There's no way to know. But it does look like it stuns them. Upon them walking up. So it's like a better cipher or tripwire, for the most part. Um... Except I think you can... I think you can see it. Yeah, if you got good reaction timing, I'm curious if you can shoot that. And then destroy it before it actually gets on you. It's gonna be really good at defending. Like, this might be, like, the go-to defender besides Sage. It doesn't look like this is strong. Because, for one, it's not auto-targeting the head. It's just going for the chest. I don't know if it's meant to go for the chest or if it's just random. Um, but it, it doesn't do that much damage. So that's a burst of three shots. Another burst of three shots. And yeah, it took six, so six shots from this turret and then two bullets from the pistol for a kill. Which, that's not bad. One, one two, three. One, two, three. Three shots from the pistol, actually. So it's, it took nine bullets to actually kill her in the chest, which isn't... That's, that's not bad at all. Hey, it's going to be nice for defending because it'll let you know, A, someone's coming onto the site, and B... It's going to allow you to get a little bit of DPS and a little bit of damage onto the enemy before you actually have to engage with them, which is super awesome because any advantage you can get in this game is genuinely appreciated because how fast you die in Valorant compared to any other shooter is kind of bananas. CSGO is like the only other game that has, you know, quick deaths when it comes to tactical shots. And then this is a little worrisome, but there is a delay. So you throw it, you can see the person take out the nade, right? It gets thrown. It stays in its default egg position for like half a second. Then it opens and then it pops. And when it pops, I wish he would move to see if like he gets slowed during it, like the ultimate. I don't think he does because they didn't show it, but there's a delay before it kills you. I wonder if it's like a damage over time ability where the longer you're in the circle, the more damage you take until eventually it does kill you. Or if there's a delay and then it's just an insta kill. Because if there's a delay, like it's like like there's some type of counterplay to it, it's still gonna be rough to play against. Because the radius is huge, and I think most agents, or a good amount of agents, not most agents, might have trouble with it. Jet should be able to counter this agent. It, the, dude, the ultimate looks kind of OP. I don't know. This looks like a def like a, a defender's wet dream right here. There's a huge delay for it though. From what it looks like the guy still got his gun nothing is happening to the phoenix right there is a limit to the radius of the ultimate you can see the force field like right here and right here so it's not actually going on to the site it looks like it kind of stops halfway um does go through buildings so that's kind of strong 
and for ascent it's very nice because if you plant it in mid you basically you, you can stop attacker rotations from b site to a site if you got this guy holding mid uh holding mid with this ultimate is going to be crazy strong you're going to be able to slow rotations down from offense and it's going to give your team like the chance it needs to actually go from b site to a site to be able to defend a five-man rotate from b to a which is super good thing or if you know someone's gonna five man stack onto a site and you know they're there so you got a sova on your team and he's like yo i just droned uh i just droned this area they're gonna be coming in like set up the ultimate like you can easily get a five piece like if you if you're patient with it and you hide in this little cubby right here and you wait until they're on site you have a bunch of people in the cubby with you. You pop the ultimate. Delay goes off. Everybody now has guns disabled. And they only have maybe abilities. Like that's an easy five man kill. It looks kind of strong. I, I don't know. It makes a loud noise. So I'm assuming the enemy team should be able to hear. When the ultimate is going off. You can also obviously see like the force field. And then the blue line coming out. So uh, I guess. Like, if you're smart, you would retreat when that's happening. But even then, like, man, that's strong. Yeah, that's really strong. I don't know how you, uh, I don't know how you counter that. That's going to be like anti, I think, I think the agents confirmed to have their name be Killjoy, if I'm not mistaken. Jet should be anti Killjoy. Easily. She just has so much mobility and she should be able to like, a retreats super easily once she hears that the ult is about to pop off from Killjoy. And then B. This little like AoE. I'm assuming it's an insta kill. Insta kill. I don't even know what we call it. Nade puddle. I don't know. It's weird. Nothing like it. Jet should be able to dash over that or back out from that very easily. So I think a good jet player. Wardell. This is not an agent. I don't think you have to worry about it at all. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any agent that Wardell has to worry about. That dude is absolutely cracked. But you time it right, you can really, really mess up an offensive, like, enemy rotation. Yeah, this is going to shake up the meta big time. Like, imagine a Sage, Killjoy, and a Brimstone all on the same team. Like, the amount of utility you're going to have is absolutely disgusting. You got three smokes that last for ages from Brim, right? You got an ultimate that can basically clear out half of a site uh, from Brimstone. And then you got this ultimate that can slow down rotations or slow down offense trying to take over a site. Yeah, I want to keep this video nice and short. I don't want it to be too long to be 100% honest with you. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the new agent Killjoy. What are your thoughts on how strong she's going to be? What are some ways you think that she might be able to get countered? Do you think she's going to be broken? Maybe a little too weak? In the beginning, I think numbers on how much damage the this puddle does. If it's a damage over time, I think it would be a lot better than an instant kill. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new agent. Have a great day. Love you guys. Deuces. Thanks for all the support. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more Valorant content on the channel. I'm not sure if we're going to be doing a lot. Um, I love the game personally. I've been playing it a ton off stream. And uh, if you're a big Valorant player, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the agent. Deuces. Love you guys. Peace.